Dr. Yuan, myself, M.A. Mahant, working in Computer Science and Engineering Department as an Assistant Professor in Walchand Institute of Technology, Swalapur. Today, we are going to discuss the topic Function Oriented Design. Learning outcomes are, at the end of this session, student will be able to describe Function Oriented Design used in Software Engineering and describe advantages of Function Oriented Design used in Software Engineering. Introduction The design process for software system often has two levels. At the first level, the focus is on deciding which modules are needed for the system on the basis of software requirement specification and how the modules should be interconnected. The function oriented design is a method to software design where the model is decomposed into set of interacting units or modules where each unit or module has a clearly defined function. Thus, the system is designed from a functional viewpoint. In function oriented design is an approach to software design where the design is decomposed into a set of interfacing units where each unit has clearly defined function. Problem in top-down design method, most, mostly each module is used by most one of other module and that module is called as parent module. The function or oriented design uh, phase of a software development project focuses on the construction of a new or revised application. However, a func functional design describes what the application should be able to do and is less concerned with how the this or that is done. A functional design or also functional specification is a format, formal document that we use the to help software developer describe in de the detail the, the intended capabilities, appearance and interactions of user with users. The functional specification is a kind of guidance and ongoing reference point as the developer write the programming code. Where a functional design provides the detail of what system should do, a technical uh, design provides the details of how the action should be performed, a technical design translates the human language of a functional design into specific characteristics of the database, programming and hardware and software requirements of the application. Now we are going to see some objectives of function oriented design. First is defining the functional specification of the application in very clear terms with the users in mind. The functional design is also the basis for the technical design that we make the next phase. The functional design shows how the new system will work. However, the design and schemes of, are of high abstraction, ab, abstract level. The functional design process is also iterative. This can result in a review of the requirement. The data model, the organization of the data, the business rules and processing rules and how they can relate with each other or they reach the user. The program structure such as grouping of modules that support similar functions, the menu structure, individual modules and relationships include data entry that they pass on each other. We are getting the idea of the input data and also uh, how we authorize some, someone to enter it, the operations of, of each action such as different web pages or screen displays, manual or automated workflows required by the system, the logical flow, flow of, of the system will be getting from the functional oriented design. So these are all the advantages of or these are all the activities or things we can aware due to this functional oriented design. This is the diagram of functional oriented design where the high level uh, abstraction can be shown and low level abstraction can be shown. So <clears throat> the different models are interconnected with each other. This is the uh, top down structure used in functional oriented design where models are interconnected in top down approach. Design notations. Design notations are primary means to be used during the process of design and are used to represent design 
or design decisions for a for a function oriented design the design can be represented in graphically or mathematically by the so in this diagram we have to show the data flow diagram structured charts data direct dictionaries and pseudo code so these are the different parts or design notation dfd can pointed towards data dictionary data dictionary pointed towards structured chart structured chart pointed towards the pseudo code so this is the design notations of functional design here in data flow design data flow design is concerned with the designing a series of functional uh, transformation that convert system inputs into the required output the design is it described as a data flow diagram this diagram show how the data flow through the system and how the outputs is derived from the input through a series of uh, functional transformations data flow diagrams are useful and intuitive way of describing system they are generally understandable without specialized training notably if control information excluded they show end to end processing uh, that is flow of processing from uh when data enter the system to whether it leaves the system can be or traced data flow design is an integral part of several design methods and most case uh, tools support data flow di diagrams creation different ways to may use uh, different icons to represent a data flow diagram entity but their meanings are similar the next part is the data dictionaries a data dictionary list all the elements appearing in dfd model of a system the data item listed contain all data flow and the contents of all data store looking the dfd in the dfd model of a system a data dictionary list the objective of all data items and the definition of all composite data elements in terms of their components data items for example data dictionary entry may contain that uh, data gross pay consisting of parts of regular pay and overtime pay that's why gross pay equal to regular play, pay plus overtime pay for the smaller units of data element the data dictionary lists their names and their types data dictionary helps uh, identifying the dependency of each module with other module it mainly used for increasing the quality and performance of the software application coupling support the reusability of the functionality among the modules when dependency between the module is less the changes done in one module or one unit will not affect the other the next part is structured charts it partition the system into block bo uh, in, in the block black boxes a black box system that functionality is known to the user without the knowledge of internal design structured chart is graphical representation we showed system partitioning into modules hierarchy of compound modules the relation between the processing module the interaction between modules information passed between the modules so uh, it is a hierarchical uh, representation of system which partition the system into a black boxes that functionality is known to the user but inherent inner details are unknown components are read from top to bottom and left left to right where a module calls another it views the call, called module as a black box passing required parameters and received result so a dependency depending on the complexity of the application prototyping included as a part of the functional design a prototype of complex functionality is easier to for user to understand and uh, than a written a description so this is a diagram of structure a uh, structured chart so is hierarchical format of structure chart where the mod, uh, data flow from one module to other module from top down approach these are the notations used in the or drawing the structural chart where the rectangle means module the arrow means flow of data so data completion the bubbled arrow so solid arrow is control flag then another loop is used for looping then for description the di uh, uh, decision the diamond is used the next part is pseudo code so pseudo code uh, notations can be used in both the preliminary and detailed design phase phases using the pseudo code the designer 
the uh, describes the system characteristic using short concise english language phrases that are structured by keywords such as if then else while do and end sudoku is system description short english phrases describing the function it uses keyword and indentation sudo codes are uh, used uh, as replacement of flowcharts it decreases the amount of document uh, documentation required now i am going to ask one question to all the students you have to pause the video and write the answer a dash list all data elements appearing in the dft model of a system option a data dictionary option b data design option c structural chart option d none of these pause the video and write the answer so the correct answer is option a data dictionary a data dictionary lists all data elements appearing in the dft model of a system now we are going to see advantages of function oriented design the advantage for implementation is that if a software module has a single purpose it will be simpler and therefore easier and less expensive to design and implement system with functionality design parts are easier to modify because each part does only what it claims to do since the maintenance is more than 3 4 of a successful systems life this feature is a crucial advantage it makes uh, the system easier to understand the document which simple uh, simplifies training the result is that the practical lifetime of a functional system is longer in a system program functional module will be easier to reuse because it is less likely to have side effects that appear in other parts of the system so these are the references thank you